Hey guys, I'm here with a holiday home tour, a holiday apartment home tour. I usually do one every winter for Christmas. So I thought I would do one I'm a little behind on doing it this year. Um, just didn't get around to doing it. And then we got COVID, so I've been home, but yet I just didn't have the house straightened up to where I wanted to do one. So there's a little stuff here and there because we've been home for the last week and you know we had stuff sitting around because we've just been at home when you're at home a whole week you just have stuff around sitting around so i'm gonna go ahead and do one real quick don't have a whole bunch of stuff different than what we normally do but it's of course in the apartment so it's set up a little bit different so i thought i would show you so we'll start here in the living room let's see we'll start here with our cushions on our chair, we have these. We had these last few years. I got them like three years ago, I believe. I got these at Big Lots, these pillows. This one says Believe. It has like a little bling on it. And the Believe, and then a little snowflake pillow. It's got snowflake on there with little, little jewels on there. I got the same thing on that side. And then over here we have our Christmas cards that we have from friends and family and subscribers. We have those taped all there and then we'll probably put some more over there just depending on, uh, we'll probably continue and put them over there. We have actually a big pile over there we have to put up yet. We just received today. And then down here we have our nativity set. My mom gave that nativity set to me. So we have that there, and I have this little snowman, little votive holder, or tea light holder. I got that from Yankee Candle years back. I got that little tree there. And then up here I have, this is a Bath and Body Works candle holder. I just put pine cones in and have that up there. And this, um, I believe my mom got this for me, this tree here. And that's another Bath and Body Works candle holder that I put pine cones in. And then I got this, I call this the disco Christmas tree because it looks like disco lights. Uh, I got that at Big Lots like three years ago. And then we have the Noel and Joy sign, uh, pictures up there. We got from, I got those at uh, Kirkland's like two years ago. When they had the after Christmas sale, I got them really cheap the day after Christmas sale. So I got those. And then over here we just have another disco Christmas tree on the other side of the TV. And then up there we have this Happy Holidays sign. I got that at Walmart like three years ago. And I should have put some stuff in that vase there. With, I should have put some Christmas stuff in there, but I never did get around. I was gonna do it, I never did get around to doing it, so we didn't, we just have our regular stuff in there, but I should have done some Christmas stuff. That would have been pretty, but never did get around to it. And then here I have this sleigh candle from Homeworks. It's got a candle in there. I lit it once, but I haven't lit it anymore. I just sat it up there. I thought it looked kind of cute up there. Next to the tree on the, far, uh, on the fireplace mantle and then here we have our tree this is our tree that we got at menards this year we, had, we needed a brand new tree that would fit here better in our apartment so this is our tree it's actually like it has like glitter on it if you can see close there it's like got glitter on the tree and then the ends are like kind of silver like with glitter on them it's really pretty i really like it and we just have like a lot of silver ornaments. Um, we got our Santa Cam ornament there. And then I got these little, we have these silver uh, snowflakes. And then I got these, like we have a crown there. Um, I got these silver pine cones at Target. And then just different ornaments, some red stuff. We got that elf there from a friend of ours at the poinsettias. We got the doves here. I got that from Scent Maven Shopping and Scents here on YouTube. She uh, sent those to us like three years ago, I think it was. She sent a couple. There's one and there's another one somewhere on here, I think. I forget where it is. Or maybe there's just one. No, there's another one. Yeah, it's over here. 
And yeah, so we just have a few different things. Oh, this one fell over there. And then of course we got our presents underneath there. We got a bear and another little bear, or a dog and a little sleigh down there. And some more presents on the other side there, underneath the tree. And then we have this little truck here, this red truck with a tree that lights up in the back of it. That is from Big Lots. Big Lots sent it, Big Lots sent us that when uh, we posted. I posted some of the things I bought for Christmas, like those um, trees and the pillows and things. I posted on my Instagram. They saw it and they said they wanted to send me something for showing their stuff on there. So they sent me that, and then they also sent me this pillow right here, this Marion Bright pillow. I have this on. I didn't know what to do with it because I normally have this on our recliner. But we took a recliner out when we put the Christmas tree here. We had a recliner there and we put the tree there. So we put our recliner in our storage in our garage. So we don't have the recliner here. So I didn't have a place to put that pillow. So I thought, I guess I'll just put it here. I put this pillow. I kept my Buffalo check pillows out. And then I put this deer pillow that I got big lots three years ago. I really like the way that looks against the Buffalo checker pillow. But that, I'm not really super crazy about the Marion Bright because it's it's like, it's plaid and then against the buffalo check. So it doesn't look as good. I kind of wish I would have had another deer pillow. It would look better with a deer pillow just like that. But whatever, I just put it there so it's fine. It'll work this year. Maybe next year I can get a different pillow that matches a little bit better. So we have that there. And then here I have my candle holder from Bath & Body Works. It has a snowflake in there and it's got glitter and stuff that goes around and also plays music. So yeah, it plays music or you can just have it on. I never really listen to the music to be honest, but it's kind of cool that it plays music, but I never listen to the music. I just have it on like that. And then I don't have the candles lit because we have COVID and don't really, can't really smell that much. So I haven't lit candles all week. Slowly starting to get my smell back, but not completely yet. Then I have these right here with pine cones and things in them. I had one of these one year and then another, I say this every year when I do a tour, I was looking for another one to match it. And we had a subscriber that mailed us one. She found one that matched it perfectly and she mailed it because I was looking for one to match, to put on the other side. So she sent us one, so that's awesome. So now I have two matching dishes there with the pine cones in them. And then over here we have our little white Christmas tree. Got that at Walmart uh, two, or th two or three years ago. That's like the old ones they used to have. They had green ones. My mom used to have a green one that she made herself. And then um, we have our Yankee Candle centerpiece here with the snowman right there. Um, just some, um, I think that's Christmas time from Yankee Candle I have in there. Some tea lights. I don't really like those though. And then I have this holiday thing with a little candle in there and then over here we have our table with my Christmas snowflake placemats I got these at Big Lots three years ago and then our friend Brian sent me this here that I have around my vase here the candle my candle holder that I put a candle in I have it's a hurricane it's got a snowflake on it I used to have this hurricane on my coffee table but then I got the Bath and Body Works um, little glitter globe that I just showed you I put that up there so I just put this on the table I think it looks pretty good on the table this year though this is Brad's um, sewing that he's doing he is making a quilt out of his mom's shirts much of his old uh, bunch of old shirts of his mom's he's making a quilt out of them so he has those sitting there on the table right now and I think that's it for in here. Oh, over here we have my Bath and Body Works wallflower at Santa's workshop. 
you can see in there it's got the little stuff inside there and then it illuminates a Merry Christmas sign it illuminates from right back here up onto the wall which is really cool and then up here we have our Oh Come Let Us Adore Him picture. I got that at Kirkland's uh, Day After Christmas sale for a really good price. And then over here we have some Snowman and Mrs. Snowman salt and pepper shakers. And there's the Christmas cards. I got to put up a pile of cards. What else? Let's see. Over here we have a Santa little wreath kind of a kind of a wreath that you hang up on the door it's got a little Santa hat and one of Brad's clients made that for him a few years ago I believe and then we have a goofy little thing hang on the door it's got little bells on it and over here above my little candles I put in that little shelving area I have peace and joy I got that at Walmart a few years ago we have a little Santa here that, if you go in front of it, it's supposed to go off. It's not going to go off now. It always goes off. It's not going off. Okay. Well, <laughs> it always goes off when you walk by it. It's got a little sensor and it'll say, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, or ho, 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 Happy Holidays. But of course, now that I'm doing the video, it's not going to go off. Then we have our little Merry Christmas sign here. I got that at, I believe Dollar Tree, like five, six years ago or something, maybe longer than that. And then we have this little door thing here with bills that my mom gave us. I used to have that at my house when we grew up and she gave that to us. And then here in the hallway bathroom here we have our oh he just went off did you hear him <laughs> he says season's greetings have happy holiday and then we have our snowman shower curtain in here our white rugs our towels that's a yankee got that yankee candle it holds a little tea light and then that's a little snowman it holds a tea light in there and our little snowman toilet cover and our little trash can we have our candle holder there and then a little soap dish a little cup a little toothbrush holder and our towel and our tree there and our Bath and Body Works wallflower plug and then I'll show you the outside here our door Get back That's the wreath we have here on our front door. And we have this little welcome little bear there. And our little let it snow mat. And our little Christmas snow factory, little snowman there. And then I think the only thing left is Did you hear him? He just said, ho, ho, Merry Christmas when I walked by. I think all we have left is out here in the front on our balcony outside. Out here we have our Christmas lights here, our blue and white lights, and then we have our snow uh, snowflakes. It was hanging up higher when it came down, but it looks fine that way, so they're just like bingley snowflakes. And then we have a wreath out here. I would go out there and show you, but I might go out and show you in just a second here so you can see what it looks like. That's our blow up snowman there. And then we have a Paw Patrol blow up here. Now let me go outside and I'll show you real quick what it looks like from the outside. So this is what it looks like from the outside. We have, there's our wreath. We had that wreath at the house in between the two bedroom windows above the garage, but we hadn't had it out for the past few years. So now we finally put it out here. 
and that's what it looks like from the outside. So that is it for our holiday 2020 home decor tour. I thought I'd do one because a lot of people request us to do one every year. So I thought I would show you what the decor looks like in our new apartment this year. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you all in our next video. Bye.